I really do not want to do this movie. All that you gave me was a pain in my side. I'd like to fight you, but where would I hide? I'm so sick of cleaning your mess. I hope someday that you just confess. 150 years ago, corporations were given the same rights as citizens. It's called corporate personhood. I've been against this concept for years, but after this disaster in the Gulf of Mexico, soon to be known as the Dead Sea, I have changed my tune. I say if these corporations want the same rights as citizens, they should have the same accountability as citizens. I mean, I know if my personal negligence were to cause the death of 11 people on an oil platform, let alone the entire destruction of the Gulf of Mexico, they would have me in prison. So I say, sure, let's put the entire payroll of British Petroleum in prison. How do you like your corporate personhood now? I don't want to just see the CEO go to prison. I want to see every congressional apologizer go to prison. Every CEO, every CIO, every CISO, every CPA, every C3PO go to prison. Every VP, every SVP, every VIP for that matter go to prison. Make an example of them. Like you make an example of the guy who's sitting in prison for growing dope in his own apartment. And if there is not enough room in the U.S. penitentiary system for the entire payroll of British Petroleum, let the guy who's in there for growing dope out to make room for the corporate guy. You read the news and you butter your toes. You got a blessing from the Holy Ghost. I want to see them all go to prison. I want to see the actors and the writers in those BS BP ad campaigns, Beyond Petroleum, a greener oil company. I want to see those guys go to prison. Visualize this with me. I picture whole gas pumps dressed in orange jumpsuits quivering in their little British accent as a large scary man stands over and says, It's no prison joke. But let's not stop there. I want to see every seller of British Petroleum go to prison. I want to see every user of British Petroleum go to prison. I want to see every user of Petroleum go to prison. Hell, I want to go to prison. As we watch the coffers of British Petroleum, Halliburton, and Transatlantic dwindle as they pay not billions, but quadrillions in reparations. Halle Barber, you can lick my dipstick. I say it's time to bill, baby, bill. You guys need to hire every idle shrimp boat captain in Gulfport, Mississippi, and every out-of-work oyster fisherman in Corpus Christi, Texas, not to mention every out-of-work seafood restaurant waiter in New Orleans to clean up your mess. Use the community we have in the Gulf. Don't hire Halliburton. Use the community we have. I want to see your shareholders standing on street corners and overpasses, holding buckets with signs that say, we'll work to pay locals for your laws. You drink all night and you piss in my pot. You keep on stealing until you get caught. Why are you always playing tricks on me? It's not a rabbit that you got up your sleeve. Big to fail. That's why even though you're headquartered in Houston, 
in Texas. You chose to fly the flag of the Marshall Island, which is basically an oil company with a flag. I say since you chose to fly the flag of the Marshall Island, I think it makes you a foreigner. And ironically, I find myself agreeing with the state of Arizona. And I say, you should be deported. An act like this, perpetrated by a foreigner. Can only be viewed as an act of foreign eco-terrorism. And the place you should be deported to is Guantanamo Bay. We can sit in your orange jumpsuit and be waterboarded with water from the Gulf you destroyed.